What up, Bombers? Hey there, Boss Bomb, Maud Garrett here, and I've got amazing news. Geek Bomb Book Club is officially back. Hey, yes! We actually started Geek Bomb Book Club, or GBBC, uh, back in 2014 uh, with different members of the squad who were around at that time who also loved books. We essentially did this series where we were able to Skype with authors of our favourite books along with super fans who wanted to engage with their favourite author and we spoke in depth for like an hour plus to these authors about books. Some of my favourites especially uh, included Patrick Rothfuss who did The Name of the Wind and The Wise Men's Fear of, um, the, from the King Killer Chronicles. We had a big chat with him. Him. Kate Forsyth, who's an Australian author. I've read so many of her books. There was Brent Weeks from the Night Endor trilogy, and I also spoke to Ernest Klein, who did Ready Player One. We spoke about that and his follow-up book, Amada, as well. They're still all available on Geek Bomb in the channel. If you want to just look at the book club section of the videos, there's a bunch there. Plus, over the years, I've maintained my love of books, and I have this as an outlet where I can share and talk about it. So you can see a bunch of different fantasy book recommendations from over the years. Uh, and also when we do Power, PWR, we ask you what you're playing, watching and reading. Reading's a big one of that too. So if you want to check out all those other recommendations for books that I've had, they're all listed in the link below too. So let's chat this book club. What's different this time? Well, 2019 has the addition of Discord. So Discord access is basically like having this community that Geek Bombs established and it's accessible to all of those who follow Patreon and back it at the $5 tier or higher. So this community uh, talks everything from playing, watching, reading, all of the YouTube videos that go up, announcements, we do trivia there, we do live vocal hangouts, um, we do a bunch of awesome things but I'm super excited to tell the reading side of it all that we're gonna be doing a Geek Bomb book club there. So that means that every single month I'm gonna be recommending a book for everyone to read and at the end of the month we'll jump into that voice chat to discuss elements of the book, which is super, super cool. If it's gonna be a bigger book, and this one's pretty thick, it might be two months so you're not feeling stressed to try and catch up and I don't want this to feel like homework at all. So the first book I'm recommending for Geek Bomb Book Club 2019 is this one and you can see that I'm already getting my way through it. It's The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This one's book one of the Wheel of Time series. This is book one of 15. That's right, Robert Jordan actually passed away before he could finish this series, so other fantasy writer Brandon Sanderson stepped up and he actually finished the series, which is really, really cool. So a little bit about this book. All right, this is my synopsis. I had to try and think hard about it, so I'm gonna read it verbatim. All right. A powerful channeler of the One Power and her trusty ward help three young men who could be descendants of a powerful bloodline and one young woman, who's actually a raw channeler unbeknownst to her, from their small isolated farming town when it's ambushed by monsters of the dark one that happened one night. Okay, I don't write for a living. So that wasn't amazing, and I used the word power a lot, but this is a powerful book. Um, I'm only halfway through it, and I do want everyone to join in, and there's a big, big, big reason why this is the book that I've chosen for the month. Amazon Prime has bought the rights and is turning this into an epic TV series. They've already announced Rosamund Pike, who's attached to the project, which is absolutely huge. If you've seen her in Gone Girl, you know that she's just phenomenal. And I did Gone Girl for book club. Oh my God, that book is an absolute trip. Ugh. Well, today they've announced five new cast members and these are like the base five that are in the group uh, that are being kind of like led around the lands. So these are like the core group, I guess you could say. One's a late addition, but I want to go through them with you and I want to chat to see what you think too. For the record, I actually do prefer to read the book before I'm aware of any casting announcements, but usually when I catch wind that a series is coming to life, I try to read as much as I can before I see it. Uh, in this case, I have started developing in my mind Mind these characters so it's so interesting to see this casting if you are like me and you want to make up your own mind and use your own imagination for the characters definitely tune out now uh, and I'll see you in book club but if you want to go ahead with this or if you've already read it and you're excited to talk with me then let's go all right the big one Rand who is the main protagonist out of all the dudes Rand Althor it's played by Josha Stradowsk I hope I'm doing your name justice. I'm so sorry. Perrin is going to be played by Marcus Rutherford. Perrin is the blacksmith's apprentice. So I think a lot of people are starting to comment on his build. This guy's a unit in the book. So we're wondering if he's going to get a little bit wider by the time filming starts. Matt is going to be played by Barney Harris. 
I actually looked at um, this picture first and I thought this was Rand. Uh, they've got a very similar look, very kind of like preppy, I guess, very clean shaven. Um, so I'm interested to see how this character is going to go because they have very different personalities. Iguine Alvia. Oh my gosh, this is what happens when you read, right? When you read names, you just kind of like think you know how to say it. I just skim over it. So I have no idea if it's Iguine, Eguine, Iguini. I've never heard the name said out loud and I'm the kind of person, it took me until book four where Victor Crumb came in and said, oh, Hermione, that I was like, ah. <laughs> so please help me with the pronunciation in the comments. Eguine Alver, Alvia is being played by Madeline Madden. Very, very different look for her and I've got some thoughts over that one. And then we've got, again, this kind of name business, Nineveh. Nineveh. Uh, yeah, there you go. She was sort of like the seer of the town, but she was super young. Um, they call them the wisdom, so they're the ones that can, can read the winds, they know information, you go to them for healing, that kind of thing. Uh, it's going to be played by Zoe Robbins. She was actually in the Shannara Chronicles, which I watched as well. So I want to hear from you, what did you think about this casting? Do you agree with it? What stands out to you? I really like the look of Rand, he has to have kind eyes, that's how I see him. Uh, Perrin, I pictured a little bit differently, uh, I pictured him kind of like... Uh... I guess not as hairy, but in hindsight he probably should be, and for those that have read the book know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I definitely pictured him with very thick arms. That's how he's portrayed big time. Uh, Egwene's a very different story for me. I almost pictured her a little bit like me. I think that they may have said that, she's had, that she had fair hair, otherwise that's just my interpretation. I do love the diversity that's happening here. It just is probably the character out of all of them that is the most far away from how I've been imagining her. Um, and Nineveh, I looked at her and immediately was like, perfect, yeah, you need someone who's super stubborn, who's just a little bit cranky, who likes a good yell, um, I think she's going to be, she's going to have that, that presence, you know, that weight behind um, the severity that is necessary for that particular role. Rosamund Pike as Moraine, 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 yep. Um, I think that's great casting as well. Some people are disappointed that she's a lot shorter in real life as she's been portrayed in the books, but I don't really think you can get stuck up on height when it comes to casting because camera angles and you're not all standing in a row, really, if that makes sense. Um, I'm 5'11", though, so I should be championing height. Yay! But to unpack this a little bit, I've noticed that all of these people, they're virtually unknown. I don't really know them or haven't really seen them in anything else apart from the Shannara Chronicles. I kind of love that. I love that Rosamund Pike is kind of like, a, she's the big name that's carrying this. I like that, I mean, that happened with Game of Thrones. You knew Sean Bean, but you didn't really know anyone else in the series. Speaking of Game of Thrones, I have a feeling that this is going to be pitched as the new fantasy series to watch. Well done, Amazon Prime. You knew there was a space in the market. Hopefully it's going to be good. It's a hard one to win people over with, usually. So the fact that high fantasy is becoming a little bit more mainstream is awesome. Um, but we haven't seen the casting for Tom, who is the Gleeman, who goes along with the adventures. I'm picturing... Um, oh, what's his name? He's in a bunch of things. He's the guy who plays Jake's... Um, Nick's dad in um, New Girl season one. That's who I'm picturing as, as Tom, the Gleeman. And then of course the, the Ward, Lan, we haven't seen him either. So, and I'm, again, I'm picturing a, an older guy, he's quite stoic, very, very tan, a lot of sort of facial hair in a way. The strong but silent type, you know what I'm talking about. For, uh, for Tom and for Lan, do your fan casting below. Are you excited that this book series is being brought to life? Uh, when did you first read the book? How many times have you read for it all? I know I'm speaking with a big diehard book fans here. I was actually sent this book about three years ago from a fan who had heard that I hadn't read the series yet and was very, very super disappointed in me. And I'm like, I will read it. I re it's just 15 books is so daunting to start. Um, and then I also bought the Audible for it and I just ran out of excuses and now now here we are. I don't recommend the Audible. Um, it was recorded I think in 2003 and just the quality is shocking. I would love to see them redo that. I listen more than I read these days. I live in LA, I live in my car and I walk my dog three times a day. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Book Club's back. Make sure you jump over to Patreon. Five dollars and more gets you into the Discord community where we talk all things playing, watching and definitely reading. And we'll be discussing this one mid next month. Hope to see you there. Bye guys.